this video we are going to learn about how to find the higher powers of the given matrix without expanding it in an easy manner. For finding so, we need to use a special theorem called Cayley-Hamilton theorem. This model of a problem definitely you will get in part B question for 8 mark friends. So don't skip the video and watch it fully. Let me move on to the problem. The problem is we need to find a power n by using Cayley Hamilton theorem for this matrix a equal to 1, 4, 2, 3 and by using that a power n value we need to find the value of a cube. Okay, so let me say you what is Cayley Hamilton theorem first then we will move to the problem. Cayley Hamilton theorem or CH theorem it states that Every square matrix satisfies its own characteristic equation. So for, for doing this problem by using Cayley Hamilton theorem first we need to find the characteristic equation for the given matrix. Okay. So first let me write the matrix value A equal to 1, 4, 2, 3. Its characteristic equation is given by Characteristic equation is a quadratic equation. Lambda square minus S1 lambda plus S2 equal to 0. S1 is nothing but the sum of the diagonal elements. Here, what is the diagonal elements? 1 and the 3. We need to add it to get the value of S1. So, here we got it as 4. S2 is given by the determinant of the matrix A. 1, 4, 2, 3. So, we need to cross multiply it to get the value. 1, 3 is 3 minus 2 fours are 8. So S2 is 3 minus 8. Since 8 is uh, the bigger number, we need to write minus 5. Substitute the values S1 and the S2 in the characteristic equation. Therefore, we get the characteristic equation as Lambda square minus 4 lambda minus 5 equal to 0. The next we need to find the eigenvalues for this equation to proceed with a power n. So for finding eigenvalues we need to factorize this equation. Finding factorization that we know this minus 4 is nothing but the sum of the roots of the equation and minus 5 is the product of the roots. So here we need to get minus 5 by multiplying two values. We all know that minus 5 is the product of the eigenvalues, sorry the roots. So we need to obtain minus 5 by multiplying these two. We need to keep minus in this. To get the value minus 5. But before placing minus. Look at the value of 
sum of the roots. It is minus 4. So you need to get minus 4 once you add it. So it is better to keep minus here. So now 1 minus 5 is minus 4. Okay. So the roots becomes 1 and minus 5. Substituted here. We will get lambda square plus lambda minus 5 lambda minus 5 equal to 0. Take lambda common. We can write lambda plus 1 minus 5 common. Again lambda plus 1 equal to 0. Or is, then next we can write it as lambda plus 1. Take it as common into lambda minus 5 equal to 0. When we equate each of this thing to 0, we will get lambda as minus 1 and 5. These values are very important to find the value of a power n. Then next we need to find lambda power n. With the help of lambda power n only we are going to find a power n. So let me find lambda power n. But before that consider you are going to divide lambda power n with the characteristic equation that is lambda square minus 4 lambda minus 5. When we divide any number with another number definitely we will get a quotient and the remainder. Right? So let the quotient be Q of lambda. Some value in terms of lambda that only we will get, right? The next the remainder be A lambda plus B, where A and B are the constant. Since we are dividing lambda power n with a quadratic equation, the remainder we will get it as a linear thing, okay? So, when we know the dividend, divisor, quotient and the remainder, we can write the dividend lambda power n with the help of the other thing as lambda square minus 4 lambda minus 5 into the quotient q of lambda plus the remainder a lambda plus b. Isn't it? This one I have written accordingly with uh, the div uh, division rule. That is, dividend we can obtain by multiplying the quotient and the divisor with it when we add the remainder. Okay. So, by using this only, we have written this. In this one, we all will know that is the lambda square minus 4 lambda minus 5 is equal to 0. Substitute that value here. So, this becomes 0. From this equation, we can write lambda power n equal to a into lambda plus b. Consider this as the first equation. In this equation, we are going to substitute now lambda equal to minus 1. So that we will get the equation as minus a plus b equal to minus 1 the whole power n. Isn't it? Minus 1 plus b equal to minus 1 the whole power n. Consider this as the second equation. Now substitute lambda equal to 5. Then the equation number 1 becomes 5a plus b equal to 5 power n. Consider this as the third equation. Here we are going to subtract the second equation from the third equation that is 3 minus 2. That implies, first write our third equation, which is 5a 
plus b equal to 5 power n. Then write the second equation. Minus a plus b equal to minus 1 the whole power n. Here we need to subtract these two. So we need to change the signs of the second equation. So this b minus becomes plus, plus becomes minus and here also the sign will change. So when we add it we will get 5a plus a, 6a, b minus b is 0 equal to 5 power n minus minus 1 the whole power n. From this we can write a equal to 5 power n minus minus 1 the whole power n divided by 6. Now take equation number 2. From that we can write the value of b as minus 1 the whole power n plus a. Right? Because this minus a, we need to bring it to the other side so that it will become plus. In this, now substitute the value of a. Then we will get b equal to minus 1 the whole power n plus 5 power n minus minus 1 the whole power n divided by 6. Now take LCM. 6 into minus 1 the whole power n plus 5 power n minus minus 1 the whole power n divided by 6. 6 into minus 1 the whole power n minus minus 1 the whole power n. So we will get 5 into minus 1 the whole power n. We can write b equal to 5 into minus 1 the whole power n plus 5 power n divided by 6. Right? So, now we have found the constant values a and b. Then, we are going to find the value of a power n by using Cayley-Hamilton theorem. What Cayley-Hamilton theorem states? It states that every square matrix satisfies its own characteristic equation. The given matrix what we had in this problem is a square matrix. So that also need to satisfy its own characteristic equation. Alright. In the place of lambda power n, if we divide a power n with the characteristic equation a square minus 4a minus 5 equal to 0. Then again we will arrive into one thing like uh, lambda power n is equal to a lambda plus b we had right. In the same manner we will get a power n equal to a into lambda plus b. So let me write it. From Cayley Hamilton theorem we can write the a power n is equal to a into capital A plus b into i. You might have a question why I am writing i here not in lambda power n. Because lambda power n is simply the eigenvalue. So it will have a constant term. But a power n is a matrix. So whenever we have a constant term we need to multiply it with identity matrix while writing for a matrix. So from Kelly Hamilton theorem from the value of lambda power n. Since this a will satisfy its characteristic equation, right? So from that we have written a power n equal to a into a plus b into i. Now substitute the values of a and b in this equation. So this becomes a power n equal to 5 power n minus of minus 1 the whole power n divided by 6. into a plus 5 into minus 1 the whole power n plus 5 power n divided by 6 into i. So this is the required value 
of a power n. If in this value uh, equation, if we have substituted 3 in the place of n, we can get the a cube. The next we need to find a cube. So for finding a cube, substitute n equal to 3 in a power n. So that we will get 5 cube minus minus 1 the whole cube divided by 6 into a plus 5 into minus 1 the whole cube plus 5 cube divided by 6 into i. We all know that 5 cube is 125 minus minus 1 the whole cube. Minus 1 cube is minus 1. So we need to write minus of minus 1 divided by 6 into a plus minus 1 the whole cube is minus 1. Minus 1 into 5 is minus 5. So minus 5 plus 125 divided by 6 into i. Now we can write a cube as 125 minus of minus 1. Minus of minus 1 is plus 1. 1 plus 125 is 126. 126 divided by 6 into a plus Minus 5 plus 125 is 120. 120 divided by 6 into i. So we will get 126 by 6. When we cancel it, we will get 21a plus 20i. Now substitute the values of a and i. A is nothing but our given matrix, right? It is 1, 4, 2, 3 plus 20 into I is the identity matrix in 2 cross 2. So 1, 0, 0, 1. Now multiple it so that we can write it as 21, 21 4s are 84. 21 twos are 42, 21 threes are 63, plus 20, 0, 0, 20. Now add the values so that we can write a cube as 21 plus 20 is 41. 84 plus 0 is 84. 42 plus 0 is 42. 63 plus 20 is 83. So this is the value of A cube. This we got without doing complex multiplications. Right? So in this manner you can find any values or any powers of A by using Cayley Hamilton theorem in an easy manner. Okay, please uh, be careful with this problem. A uh, kind of this problem definitely will get in part B question for 8 marks. This problem also I have taken from an anniversary question paper only. Okay, friends. In the video, like share and subscribe. Like, share and subscribe. Press the bell button. 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 Press the in a mail, you can see the mail in the description box. We have a Facebook page. That link in the description box. Thank you, friends.